Hey everybody, this is Stacy from Elizabeth Lynn Photography, and today I wanted to do a review of the Prada America's Cup uh, sneaker or the women's sneaker. I noticed on YouTube that all the reviews for the America's Cup sneaker are for guys, the, the men's shoes, so I figured I would do one for the ladies. This is not my first pair of America, America's Cup sneakers. Um, I'm a wedding photographer, and as a wedding photographer, oftentimes we have to wear what's called photography black. So that's simply a black shirt, black pants, and black shoes. I used to wear ballet flats, but over time I noticed that shooting 8, 10, 12 hours uh, the next day, my back would absolutely kill me. So I knew that I needed a shoe with um, a little more of a substantial sole, but I didn't want something as casual as say a Nike sneaker or an Adidas sneaker. So I discovered the black America's Cup sneakers. Um, these are my black sneakers. Uh, again, I wear these when I shoot weddings and they're very comfortable. Uh, they've lessened the pain in my lower back after shooting a wedding. And I do get a lot of compliments, you know, when I when I wear these sneakers um, during a wedding shoot or whenever. So uh, I did notice last week that the silver sneakers were on sale. I had been eyeing them, so I picked up the silver sneaker. So this is um, the box for the silver sneaker. You can see, you know, usual silver Prada box with the red stripe that says Prada. If you turn it around, you know, again, you can see the Prada label. You see the picture of the shoe style, um, and it'll have, you know, information about the make of the shoe, and you can see the name and Marcus tag. So this is the box. I haven't even worn these. They came a couple days ago, but I was out of town. So um, one of the things that you will find with the sneakers is that in the box, the bottom of the box, there's this um, nylon bag. I, I didn't use this bag with my black sneakers, but I'm sure you could find a, a good purpose. The guys seem to kind of rave over the bag. Um, so that is the bag that comes with it. And this is the shoe. So this is the silver shoe looks very similar to the black just you know different color so this silver is a little darker than I had hoped but it is more neutral than the black shoe um, I have to do a lot of walking this weekend this weekend is the um, DSP National Convention so I wanted a shoe that would go with you know red and white and silver and gray so this shoe matches nicely um, it's, a, it's lighter than the black shoe so it'll be perfect for walking around DC this weekend and you can see it has the typical mesh for um, the America's Cup sneaker it has the red Prada stripe down the tongue here and then there's another Prada stripe on the inside and then the infamous red Prada stripe that runs from the bottom of the shoe, the sole of the shoe, up around to the heel, and it says Prada here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I noticed that it has is this white trim, and I am concerned that over time this white trim is going to turn yellow. So whether it's the Prada shoe or a Nike Air Max, any shoe that is made of this kind of hard plastic material will turn yellow over time. So I have to figure out how I want to handle that, maybe try to cover it or something once it starts to turn. But this is the shoe, looking forward to wearing it. I know that it'll be very comfortable over the weekend. And um, yeah, so this is it. And I just wanted to clarify that, you know, I'm not the kind of girl that has a closet that's dedicated to shoes that's filled from the top to the bottom. I, I just don't have that many shoes. But, you know, I do believe that every once in a while, it pays to make a good investment in shoes. And so I was really happy with my black shoes. I caught these on sale. Um, I think there are just some pieces that are, are worth the investment. You know, I have 
Jack Purcell leather sneakers. I can wear those a couple spring, couple summers, and you know get a lot of good use out of them before I have to replace them. They're a classic shoe. They're not trendy, so I can wear them over two years. Same thing with my Fry Campus boots. I can generally get three years out of those boots as long as I keep a heel plate on them and take them every year to get clean. So there are some shoes or even some clothes that cost a little more, but they're worth the investment. Um, you can get several years of wear out of them. And I just believe that these, these Prada sneakers are one of those kinds of investments. They're very classic. Uh, you can dress them up a little bit. You can even wear these to work. So uh, it's just a very cool, comfortable sneaker. I highly recommend them. Um, again, I'm not a label geek, so you know. Otherwise, I, I don't spend you know that much money on shoes. But every once in a while, um, you make an investment, and it's cool to splurge a little bit, and especially when you get them on sale. So otherwise, you know, we want to save and invest. But um, that's my review. Thanks for listening.